The full moon casts its silver light on the quiet street, illuminating the mystical symbols etched into the cobblestones. The air was thick with anticipation and the scent of magic. Genie, a very powerful, very beautiful djinn, stood in front of the old, decrepit house. Her blonde hair cascaded down her back like a golden waterfall. Her eyes flickered with mischief as she admired her own flawless form, taking great pride in her enchanting beauty. She has the power to alter reality itself, and she reveled in it. Ah, Samantha, Jeannie whispered under her breath, her voice melodic and dripping with disdain. It's time we settle this once and for all. Inside the house, Samantha the witch stared out the window, her heart pounding her chest. Her brown hair was pulled neatly away from her face. Her green eyes were sharp and focused. And despite the guise of a housewife, she was a very formidable spellcaster. As she clutched the window seal, she knew her life would never be the same after this night. Genie, she muttered, her voice laced with anger. You finally shown your face. Enjoying the view, called Genie from outside, her laughter ringing through the night air. Get lost, Samantha snapped, her voice full of venom. I don't have time for your games. Oh, come on, Sammy, Jeannie purred, sauntering closer to the window. Don't be such a bore. Enough, Samantha yelled, her patience wearing thin. She threw open the window and glared at the genie. What do you want? Isn't it obvious? Jeannie, with a wicked grin. I'm here to prove which one of us is truly the most powerful. Is that so, Samantha replied, raising an eyebrow. Well, you'll be sorely disappointed. Will I? Jeannie taunted, her voice dripping with sarcasm. I suppose we'll just have to see about that. Samantha braced herself for the inevitable fight, her thoughts racing as she considered her options. She knew Jeannie was no regular opponent, she, and she'd need every ounce of strength and cunning to survive this encounter. Her heart pounded in her chest. But she refused to back down. All right, Jeannie, Samantha said, determined, determination etched in her face. Let's see what you've got. Prepare yourself, witch, Jeannie warned, her voice cold and menacing. You're about to experience power beyond your wildest dreams. As the two women stared each other down, their eyes locked in a fierce battle of wills. They knew that this night would end in only one of two ways, victory or defeat and neither was willing to accept the latter. The tension in the air crackled with lightning as Jeannie and Samantha continued to size each other up. Samantha felt sweat trickling down her spine as she considered her next move. She could feel the raw power emanating from the gin, but she refused to be intimidated. Tell me, Jeannie, Samantha sneered, how does it feel knowing you're nothing more than a glorified servant? Ha! Jeannie laughed, her eyes narrowing dangerously. Coming from a witch who spends her day scrubbing floors and wiping snotty noses, please spare me your pathetic attempts at insults. Pathetic, Samantha hissed. I've accomplished more on my own than you ever could with all your so-called power. Is that why you're quaking in your boots, darling? Jeannie taunted, her voice dripping with disdain. Terrified of what I might do to you? Hardly, Samantha scoffed clenching her fist as she tries to control her temper. I'm merely considering which spell will be most satisfying when I send you back to whatever hellhole you crawled out of. Big words for a small town witch, Jeannie retorted, smirking maliciously. But I suppose that's all you have left, isn't it? Empty threats and false bravado. Enough, Samantha shouted, her patience wearing. If you want to fight, I'll give you one. Finally, Jeannie purred, her eyes gleaming with anticipation. I'm starting to think you'd never find your spine. As they exchanged venomous barbs, Samantha couldn't help but feel a thrill of excitement coursing through her veins. It had been far too long since she'd faced a worthy adversary, and despite her hatred for the gen, she relished the challenge. Prepare yourself, Jeannie, Samantha warned, her voice cold and menacing. This is the last night you will ever see. Bold words from a woman who's about to meet her end Jeannie countered, her eyes flashing with malicious glee. But by all means, witch, give it your best shot. I will fucking destroy you, Samantha thought, her heart, her heart pounding in her chest as she's prepared for the battle of a lifetime. 
No matter what it takes, only one of us will live through this night, and I'll be damned if it isn't me. Samantha's hands glow with eerie green light, her hands splayed as she chanted an incantation under her breath. Jeannie smirked, her own hands glowing in vibrant gold, preparing to strike back. The air between them crackled with tension, each knowing that this battle would be deadly. Let's see how you like this, Samantha spat, releasing her magical energy in the form of a powerful spell. Suddenly, she transformed into a sleek panther, her leaf body ready to pounce on the unsuspecting enemy. Child's play, Jeannie scoffed, her voice a deep growl. She countered by shifting into a magnificent golden eagle, her talons sharp and glinting in the moonlight. Their eyes locked. Both women turned animals circle each other, searching for an opening to attack. Fuck you, you feathery bitch, Samantha hissed through her panther, snarl, lunging toward Jeannie with her claws extended. Jeannie deftly dodged the attack, sweeping down with her razor-sharp talons to retaliate. She's fast, Samantha thought, but I'll wear her down eventually. For what seems like hours, they battle fiercely, neither witch nor Jen willing to yield. With each attack and counterattack, the animal form shifted, Samantha morphing from panther to python to wolf, while Jeannie took the shapes of an eagle, a lioness, and a venomous cobra. Both combatants bore the marks of their struggle, their fur matted and slick with sweat and blood. But it was clear that their magical duel would not determine a victor. With a final mutual snarl, they reverted to their human forms, their eyes blazing with fury and determination. Fine then, Samantha panted, wiping blood from her lip. Let's fucking do this the old-fashioned way. Finally, something we agree upon. Jeannie sneered, cracking her knuckles. You're going down, witch. They flew at each other, fists flying and magic crackling around them. It was a brutal, relentless fight, both women refusing to give an inch. Samantha's rage fueled her every punch, but Jeannie's superior strength began to show. Give up, Samantha. Jeannie taunted as she, as she landed a particularly vicious blow, sending the witch sprawling to the ground. You never stood a chance against me. Fuck you, Samantha spat, bloodied and broken but not defeated. She forces herself to her feet, every muscle of her body screaming in pain. I won't let you win. Such stubbornness, Jeannie sighed, shaking her head, but it's time for you to accept your fate. With that, she charged forward, her fist connecting with Samantha's face one last time. The force of the blow sent Samantha crashing to the ground, unconscious and defeated. Jeannie stood over her fallen enemy, her chest heaving from the effort. As much as she loathed the witch, she couldn't help feeling a begrudging respect for her tenacity. Rest well, Samantha, Jeannie whispered, her voice laced with a complicated mixture of triumph and regret. Perhaps in another life, we could have been allies instead of enemies.